Hello and welcome. I'm Glenn and this is Aqua Lifestyle. Today we're going to be talking about the performance reports on test boats with the new Mercury 600 horsepower V12 outboard. Let's check it out. Earlier this year, Mercury introduced the new Verado V12 600 horsepower outboard. Now this very innovative outboard was built from the ground up for one purpose, to propel large yachts with high horsepower, giving good performance and high speed. Uh, they were able to do that and it is chock full of all kinds of innovations and we've talked about those in other videos. But this video we're going to concentrate on the performance characteristics of these outboards. Now just prior to the press release of these outboards they were tested on Mercury's Lake X where we got to test ride the yachts a few days later. These tests were performed on January 20th, 2021 and comprised of several yachts. The first we're going to talk about is the Formula 500 SSC. Uh, that was rigged with quad 600s. Next is the Tiara 48 LS with triple 600 Verados. Next is the Valhalla V46 with quad 600 Verados. Following that is the Boston Whaler 420 Outrage with three Verado 600 horsepower outboards. And last but not least is the Scout 425 LXF, and that was rigged with dual Verado 600s. So let's check them out. All right, first up we've got the fantastic Formula 500 SSC. This sport yacht, uh, purpose built with these engines in mind. Uh, the specs are impressive. Now remember, you can pause the video at any point in time to get a closer look at these data sheets data on these sheets very simple to interpret of course the most important thing that most people find and the thing that they ask first is what was the top speed we're looking at 69 miles per hour at 6400 rpm that's with a boat weight of 47,000 pounds the air temperature is 70 degrees fahrenheit we were basically at sea level 75 uh, foot elevation we were on a freshwater lake at uh, mercury's test lake lake x near central florida near orlando the other impressive feat for such a heavy boat with these outboards is the acceleration. You really could feel it with the two-speed transmission. You're looking at acceleration 0 to 20 is 7.87 seconds, 0 to 30 in 12.8 seconds. Which when you think about a boat of that size, a yacht of that size with that kind of weight, uh, that's impressive acceleration. You truly can feel it with these outboards. There's no lag. Now the dry weight of this vessel is 42,700 pounds, but as tested, it was at 47,000 pounds. That's 650 gallons of fuel capacity on that boat also. Now Mercury designed these engines to be as uh, efficient as possible. Keep in mind these are huge outboards pushing large heavy yachts. Uh, the fuel consumption was impressive. Uh, you can see from the listing here uh, what your mileage is. Uh, per gallon, miles per gallon, and gallons per hour. Looking at the list here, you can see that you've got 322 mile range going at 4,500 RPM with a speed of 47.9 miles per hour. Fuel consumption is 96.7 gallons per hour. That's a half a mile per gallon. Uh, pretty impressive. And then top speed, 6,400 RPM, 69 miles per hour. 209.4 gallons per hour, 0.3 of a mile per gallon, and range 214 miles. Again, remember this is with four 600 horsepower outboards. Next tested was the Tiara 48 LS, this with triple 600 Verados. Now test date on this, very similar conditions, uh, but this was on January 26, 2021. The uh, boat weight as tested, 32,200 pounds, dry weight, 28,376. Top speed is 60.3 miles per hour at 6,400 RPM. Acceleration, impressive, zero to 20 at 5.1 seconds, zero to 30 in eight seconds. Very impressive there. Um, again, using stainless steel props, uh, various pitches on the props. 31 outboard, 27.5 pitch center. 
Now fuel burn rates, you can see 4,500 RPM, speed of 39.2 miles per hour, fuel consumption 69.4 gallons per hour, uh, miles per gallon, 0.6 miles per gallon, in a range of 373 miles. So pretty good there. And then you're looking at 6,402 RPM for a maximum speed of 60.1. Fuel consumption 149.9 gallons per hour, that's 0.4 miles per gallon and giving you a range of 264 miles. Next up is the absolutely gorgeous Valhalla V46. Now this was rigged with four Brado 600 horsepower outboards. Um, top speed 74.1 miles per hour that's a boat that uh, weighed as tested 32,150 pounds dry weight 26,812 acceleration 0 to 20 in an impressive 4.77 seconds 0 to 30 in 6.76 seconds Again, stainless props with a 35 pitch on the outboard motors 37 pitch on the center motors now fuel consumption, the sweet spot, 4,500 RPM, pushing out 48 miles per hour, 82.4 gallons per hour, 0.6 miles per gallon, and a range of 405 miles. The top speed at 73.8 was at 63.87 RPM, fuel consumption 209.8 gallons per hour, 0.4 miles per gallon, and a range of 244 miles. Next up is the Boston Whaler 420 Outrage. Now this gorgeous boat was set up with three Verado 600s. Its uh, top speed was 63.7 miles per hour. Acceleration 0 to 20 in 5.28 seconds. Acceleration 0 to 30 in 8.11. That's at a boat weight as tested of 31,100 pounds. Dry weight on the boat 22,000. Now with that weight, uh, we're looking at 4,500 RPM with a speed of 43.5 miles per gallon, 66.7 gallons per hour, uh, 0.7 miles per gallon, and a range of 457 miles at 4,500 RPM. At the top speed is 63.7. We did 63.75 RPM. Fuel consumption was 156 gallons, 0.4 miles per gallon, and a range of 286 miles. Last up is the Scout 425 LXF. Now this offshore machine was powered with dual Verado 600s. Received a maximum speed, accomplished a maximum speed of 61.9 miles per hour. Acceleration 0 to 20 in 6.1 seconds, 0 to 30 in 9.76 seconds. Boat weight as tested was 23,800 pounds with a dry weight of 19,400 pounds. Uh, pitch on the stainless steel props was 29 pitch. Sweet spot in fuel performance seemed to be at 4,500 RPM, 41.3 miles per hour, 53.2 gallons per hour, 0.8 miles per gallon, in a range of 388 miles. Um, at top speed of 61.9, that was accomplished at 6410 RPM. Fuel consumption was 101 gallons per hour. Fuel consumption miles per gallon, 0.6 miles per gallon for a range of 306 miles. So there you have it, a brief rundown of the uh, tech specs and fuel consumption performance for each of the test yachts with these incredible outboards. We will have these sheets available on our website at aqualifestyle.net shortly. We'll post the link uh, down below when that is available. We do have links to the individual test runs and walkthroughs of each of these yachts, so look down there for that. And if you enjoyed this video, remember to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you know when some new videos are up and available to view. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you back here soon.